So interestingly enough, one of the most popular requests for this series was to talk about operator damage. But why? There are loads of videos that talk about different meta amp setups or you could just google it. Well, I think it's because most people already have the right amp setup, but it's not doing the kind of damage they see other people do. This is because the amp can only do so much. You have to think of the amp like you would a normal weapon. Yes, it helps to have a weapon with better stats, but that weapon is still not gonna do a lot of damage if you don't put mods on it. Damage in Warframe is all about multipliers. We stack as many multipliers on top of one another so that in the end we have as big of a number as we can. Just think about the way you would mod a genetic primary weapon. You would add an elemental mod so that the base number you're multiplying is bigger. Then you add inceration, which is a genetic damage multiplier. Then if the weapon has enough crit, you add in point strike and vital send so you can squeeze the weapon's damage through the crit multiplication as well. You add in multi shot so you just fire more bullets. And then you can add in a faction mod so that you're multiplying your damage again against a specific faction as well as fire rate so you can simply fire faster. That is exactly what you need to do with an amp as well. You just need to do it a little bit differently because amps don't have mods. The amp itself actually plays a relatively small part in all of this and I will prove it to you. Here is the basic mod amp that's the first amp you get against the Void Angel. There is no trickery here by the way, this is genuinely the most basic amp you can run. But it can also look like this. The difference here is that in the first clip I had everything lined up, whereas here I don't. It makes a massive difference. A top-notch meta amp with the wrong setup is worse than a terrible amp with the right setup. So let's line it up again and goodbye Void Angel. So what exactly is going on here? Well, let's start off with the amp. My amp is the Discomiotic Combabulator and it's made of the Certus Brace, Sharks and Scaffold and Ram Prism. The most important part here is the Certus Brace as that gives the amp 20% extra crit chance. You never want to change this one out. But as far as the Scaffolds and Prisms, you can actually run most of them, though there are a few that you want to avoid. For Scaffolds you want to avoid Disic and for Prisms you want to avoid Lega. Those two are just not that great because their base crit chance is very low. Also, just like with everything, some parts are better than others. A really good starter amp is a so-called 123, which just refers to the order in which the parts were released. So we have a Rap Black Prism, Sharks and Scaffold, and Lore Embrace. And the current meta ones are 777 for general use, which is the Clamora Prism, Propa Scaffold, and Certus Brace. And for fast idol enhance, people tend to recommend 177, which is the Rap Black Prism with the Propa Scaffold and Certus Brace. Now, as I mentioned already, amps play a relatively small part in all of this. Building a good amp is akin to picking a weapon with the right stats. So what else is there? Well, there are arcanes. Arcanes are really good at boosting your crit chance and crit damage. Eternal Onslaught provides upwards of 180% bonus crit chance for 8 seconds when you deplete your operator's energy. Think of this as a conditional point strike. And for our Vital Sense equivalent, we run Virtual Strike, which on a critical hit gives us a 20% chance to get 80% extra crit damage for 4 seconds. This is one of the reasons why Rapid Fire Amps are generally better. Now while Arcanes do add a ton of damage to your setup, you can get away with not using Arcanes if you don't have them yet. Because crit, while nice, is not as important as damage. Let me introduce you to the Madurai Focus School. This is by far the most important aspect of operator damage. Because on top of adding a bit of extra crit damage, it adds the most important multiplier, which is genetic damage. This is your amp's serration. You don't actually need to unlock the entire focus school. There are only a few nodes that help you out. The first one is Phoenix Talents. This increases your operator damage by 30%. It also gives you physical damage, so impact slash and puncture, which isn't too shabby either. But the most important node by far is Void Strike. This makes your operator's first ability consume all energy and in return provide a 10% damage bonus for every percentage of energy spent. This, at full energy, gives you 1000% increased damage for 8 seconds with a 40 second cooldown. This obviously adds a ton of damage, but it also triggers Eternal Onslaught. And the final node you want to pick up is Power Transfer. This gives you 100% crit damage for 20 seconds when you switch to an Operator and then 50% casting speed when you switch to a Warframe. Now while this provides a ludicrous amount of burst for your Operator and Warframe, because the damage bonus works for your Warframe as well, the cooldown is pretty long. I mean 40 seconds is 40 seconds. And also when you see 
people doing insane damage with operators, they're usually pairing it up with another person that's using the Unaru focus school and buffing them with their wisp. Unaru is actually a very solid focus school for this as well, because you get a caustic strike which lobs an energy explosion that strips enemy armor. And if you have the Unaru wisp upgrade as well, you then spawn a wisp which seeks out a nearby operator and increases its damage by 100%. This is obviously less than the 1000 you get from Madurai, but it's more reliable. So we've covered the amp, which is the equivalent of picking the right weapon. We've covered our arcanes, which is the equivalent of modding for crit. And we've covered our focus, which is the equivalent of modding for raw damage. So is there anything else we can do? Well, we can add elemental damage with vault. Amps can get the benefit of firing through vault shield as well. And it's the equivalent of adding in elemental mods to your weapon so that the base number you're multiplying is bigger. This, when stacked on top of everything else, makes you do humongous damage. Like one shot the shield off a terrorist kind of damage. This is why Vault is one of the most popular Eidolon hunters. Oh yeah, and by the way, this works for the Necromech as well. Doesn't get much faster than that. So there you go, that's pretty much all you need to know to do absolutely disgusting damage with your operator. And as always guys, I thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and if there is any other topic you would like to see explained in this style of video, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. On top of all of that, I would also like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members, thank you very much guys, I really appreciate your support, and if you would like to become a channel member as well, you can check out the membership sense stuff down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. If I missed something, please let everyone know. If I've missed something, please free. If I've missed something, please. Blah. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. <laughs> if I. <laughs>